Hi everyone, this is Dave Kemp with Dochi Products. In today's talking PowerPoint, we'll outline key instruments to have on hand for mechanical removal of cerumen, as suggested by the Ochre Products Cerumen Management Guru, Dr. A.U. Bankitis. Which instrument to use is mainly a matter of personal preference, but several factors should influence your choice, including cerumen consistency. Moist consistency will be easier to remove with a curette, loop, or hook, whereas dry cerumen will be easier to remove with forceps. The degree or extent of the cerumen impaction will influence instrument choice. The greater the occlusion, the smaller the surface of the instrument's tip. In the presence of a partial occlusion where there is a pre-existing hole in the cerumen, use your instrument of choice, passing the tip through the pre-existing hole, and position the tip behind the cerumen plug to start removal procedures. With the complete occlusion, choose an instrument with an extremely thin tip, such as the day hook, which will offer the least amount of resistance to the cerumen plug, allowing you to create the necessary hole in the plug without pushing the cerumen impaction further down the ear canal. Once a hole is created, switch to an instrument with a more substantial tip. As Dr. Bankaitis says, three is the key. One, pick an instrument for moist cerumen, such as a loop, Shapley curette, or a buck curette. Pick one for dry cerumen, such as the Luke K forcep or alligator forcep, and finally invest in that critical day hook to create the necessary passage in a complete occlusion. For more information, be sure to check out the cerumen management section of AU's blog at aubankitis.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching. Arrivederci.